Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Damilala and this is Damilis YouTube channel. If you are just stopping by, I create content related to DIYs. I teach basically. So if that is what you want, if that is what you like, make sure you click that red button below and subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on the notification bell so that you will be the first person to be notified whenever I post a new video stay on the series of t-shirt printing and um, you know we are looking at screen printing right so in my last video I we coated our match yes so in this video we are going to be exposing our artwork our artwork is our design it can be anything something like this on a plain paper like this so it can be anything it can be um a diagram it can be a character it can be anything that you want to design on your t-shirt it can be your name anything whatsoever make sure you print it in this way on a4 paper like this in any form you want it how you want it not how you want it anyhow you want it so you're going to make sure you print it like this and we need our match i'm not going to bring the match because you remember we quoted it in my last video and i don't want it to be exposed so we are still going to be exposing in a dark place please if you are yet to watch that last video and this is episode three of the screen printing so make sure you watch the episode one which is the introduction to uh, the materials and also the second uh, episode which is um, coating of our match and this is a third episode we are going to be exposing our artwork you need to follow it bit by bit you need to watch all the episodes for you to understand um, what it entails how to do it all right so what do we need we need a hard work for today's project we need a coated match then we need either kerosene yes you hear me right kerosene or cooking oil yes granite oil <laughs> that's what we are going to be using to expose our artwork then there's some trick to exposure uh exposure yeah is determined by the weather or uh, the time of the day it depends on the timing so i'm still going to explain for that as we go uh, on to the practical aspect of it now it's time to move 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 to expose make sure you watch this video to the end because if you don't watch it to the end there is no how you understand all right it's time to expose our artwork so all right guys so we need foam i forgot to tell you that it's just to stabilize um, the match that is all what this foam is all about so any foam of your choice so i have this foam i have this about five inch i'll just use it to raise it up then also i will need um glass any um piece of glass yes to press it you will see what i'm going to use this for and also the foam so let's get started let's get started all right so this is our match and this is our hard work product of grace this is what i'm going to be using so i'm going to face it down like this can you see this is the way it is make sure you are facing it down and make sure your match is up i mean you are using the upper part this is the inner part of the match you don't place it there no you place it on top of the match like this and you make sure that um the artwork is on top this way i hope you get that now this is our kerosene i told you you can either use kerosene or you use oil cooking oil yes so and if you have your glove put it on if you don't have work with it like that now what i'm going to do is to place my match on the foam 
the essence is just to balance it so the essence is just to balance um my heart's work on the match can you see the 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 work of the foam now and also when i'm putting the kerosene so i don't want any kind of split over so what i'll just do basically is just to put the kerosene little on top of it this way i'll make sure that is well saturated or neat like that now the next thing i'm going to do is to place uh the glass on top of the mesh so the next thing i'm taking i'm doing now is to take it outside under the sun so the weather presently is not uh it's not sunny so i'm going to wait for some minutes i will tell you how many minutes i waited all right so let me take it outside so what i'm going to do now is to expose it under the sun all right so you can see these are designed outside this particular day i made this video it was distilling outside the weather was, was cloudy so i waited for good 10 minutes before taking it inside whereas in some cases when it's sunny you can just wait for like 30 to 45 seconds so you work with the weather all right guys so i'm done have taking it so this is it i've taken it from the sun the next thing we're going to do is just to remove it remove the glass then i'm just going to pour water on it mm -hmm. i'm just going to stay pour water on it and just clean it this way you can see put some pressure on it pour water on it if you have tap you can just open your tap and um, just wash it that's all if you don't have just follow suit and use a bathing bowl or any bowl and just pour water on it are you see what i'm seeing <laughs> If you just follow what I have taught you, you should be getting this by now. So the thing is, you have to make sure the, the emotion is not on your design. You have to clean the emotion out. You have to take your time and clean your emotion out. cured i mean when i mean what i mean by curing is uh, the time you are supposed to leave it under the sun or outside has no reach how will you know okay as you are watching it like this you realize that maybe uh you're supposed to wait for like um two minutes you waited for um 30 seconds you realize that as you are, as you are watching it the your design will be you know it's, it will just be washing out you see this one even as i am you know applying pressure on it you can see that uh, it's not it's not going out what is just washing out is just the emotion so that is how to know that no you've not done it right for this process, instead of using your hand, you can use a soft brush to clean it. So after cleaning it and you're sure your design is out, just take it under the sun to dry it or you put it under the fan 
to make sure the emulsion is adding please don't use rag or clothes to clean it it will ruin your work so we've come to the end of today's class so in our next class you are going to be printing a t-shirt thank you for watching make sure you turn on your notification bell i hope to see you in my next video bye